Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Sonal. Today I'm concluding with the charge transfer transition series by solving a few questions uh, which are basically your previous year questions from either like CSI net exam or uh, from gate exam. Okay. So charge transfer spectra or charge transfer transitions, uh, I've already talked about it. These are the transitions wherein an electron okay is either moving from the ligand orbital to the metal orbital or it is moving from the metal orbital to the ligand orbital okay these are the two main type of uh, charge transfer transitions that we have other than that we also have the metal to uh, metal charge transfer transitions metal to metal which are known as intervalence uh, charge transfer transitions or mmct wherein uh, the electron moves in the same complex from uh, orbital of the metal to another orbital okay from one orbital of the metal to another uh, orbital of the same metal okay so over here what you need you need to have uh, the same metal in that complex present in two different oxidation states okay it's the same metal but it has to be present in two different oxidation states for example your spinels in spinels you usually have your metal present in two different oxidation states okay other than that the fourth type of transition which we can see under charge transfer transition is llct okay uh, wherein if you have two different types of ligands the electron moves from uh, one ligand to another ligand orbital okay so these are the four types of charge transfer transitions that we have okay so that was a quick revision for you all uh, now let's go ahead and start solving the questions so the first question which we have over here is mno4 minus okay mno4 minus is uh, your kmno4 itself is a deep uh, purple colored complex right so mno4 minus is deep purple in color whereas reo4 minus is colorless this is due to greater energy required for okay so you have to be very careful over here huh? look at the question it is asking this is due to greater energy required for so in terms of transition we have to figure out which transition is going to have a greater energy yeah so that is the question that they are asking okay now coming to the complexes uh, which are given so we have mno4 minus over here and we have reo4 minus over here okay first of all uh, the first two options are with respect to dd transitions the second two options are with respect to charge transfer so we need to figure out whether these complexes will show us dd transitions or whether they will show us charge transfer transitions okay charge transfer transitions fine now uh, first thing in order to know if the complex is showing a dd transition is to check for the availability of d electrons okay so mno4 over here if you calculate the oxidation state of manganese it's going to be in the plus 7 oxidation state okay i hope you all know how to calculate oxidation states in case you all don't know how to calculate oxidation states uh, in complexes please comment down below i will try to make a separate video on it okay so mn over here is in plus 7 oxidation state re over here is also in plus 7 oxidation state okay now mn and re in plus 7 oxidation state both of these complexes are actually d0 systems okay they have lost all of their d electrons okay so they are in the same group okay same oxidation state and both of them are in the d0 state right so if it is d0 that means you can completely eliminate dd transitions okay dd transitions will not occur in these complexes because uh, they are in the d0 state that means they do not have any d electrons okay so our last two options are remaining charge transfer okay from oxygen to re compared to o to mn or charge transfer from o to mn compared to o to re okay now these two options will only make sense when you add this statement from here okay because that is what the question is asking us fine okay uh, now see there is a particular trend okay there is a particular trend with respect to such uh, the energy which is associated with charge transfer transitions okay mn and re are in the same group so basically the trend says that when you move down the group from top to bottom 
okay when you move down the groove from top to bottom what happens to the energy gap energy gap increases when you move from top to bottom or down the groove energy gap increases energy gap increases meaning now here these two complexes since metal is present in the highest oxidation state they will show ligand to metal charge transfer transitions okay metal is present in the highest oxidation state it does not have any d electrons which means it can easily accept electrons from the ligand okay so this i've already discussed in my previous videos you guys can please go ahead and watch that okay so over here the ligand is going to transfer electrons to the metal into the empty d orbitals of the metal okay in mno4 minus and in reo4 minus in both the cases it is lmct which is happening now we need to check which lmct is happening at a greater energy okay so the energy gap basically as you move down the group increases that means the transition the charge transfer transition which is taking place in re will occur at a higher energy level okay so suppose uh, from the ligand oxygen to your mn okay if this is the movement of electron this is the energy gap from oxygen to mn the energy gap from oxygen to re is, will be much higher will be much higher okay so what is your correct option over here this is due to greater energy required for charge transfer from o to re compared to o to mn or uh, for charge transfer from o to mn compared to o to re so we know that more energy or greater energy is required for charge transfer from o to re compared to o to mn because as we move down the group energy gap increases okay so your correct option over here will be option c i hope it is clear over here okay so here you cannot compare in terms of oxidation state or d electrons because both these uh, factors are the same okay you can only compare with respect to the trend that is as we move down the group energy gap increases the transition from uh, o to re will occur at a greater energy in comparison to o to mn okay so that's why your correct option is option c let us go to the next question so the second question we have is the correct order of uh, LMCT energies is okay so we have to identify the energy order for uh, LMCT transitions occurring in these complexes okay so over here first before we start solving the question uh, there are two important factors which you have to know with respect to LMCT transitions okay first of all the first factor is with respect to the oxidation state okay higher the oxidation state or as the oxidation state of a metal increases the energy gap for the lmct transition to occur decreases this is the first point that you all have to note okay so suppose i have a metal uh, suppose i have a metal with n plus oxidation state okay this will be the energy gap for it okay this will be the energy gap for the transition to occur and i have a metal with n plus one oxidation state that means higher oxidation state then this gap of transition is going to decrease the energy gap is decreased okay so as the oxidation state increases of a metal the energy gap or the energy of your uh, lmct transition is going to decrease okay so i can say that higher the oxidation state lower will be the energy required for the transition to take place i hope this point is clear okay this is the first point okay second point over here what happens is that in a period when you move from left to right in the periodic table in the period when you move from left to right uh, basic uh, uh, basic chemistry concepts we already know as you move from left to right what happens to the size the size of the atom decreases okay why the size decreases is because the effective nuclear charge increases okay effective nuclear charge increases uh, the overall size of the atom decreases okay also the lmct energy the energy of the transition okay lmct energy of the transition decreases because the size decreases 
okay so as we move from left to right uh, energy of transition decreases on increasing the oxidation state the energy of the transition decreases okay these are the only two points you will require in order to solve most of the questions which are uh, based from lmct okay very crucial points fine now we have three complexes we are dealing with three complexes first uh, uh, let us try to now we know that they are from the d block right they are in your uh, first d series okay they are in your first d series right so left to right how do i have the order i have vanadium chromium and manganese okay so i'm moving left to right in the periodic table i already know that when i move from left to right my uh, lmct energy is going to decrease so with respect to the movement uh, as in with respect to moving across the periodic table from left to right i know that manganese will have lowest value of energy so far okay lowest value of energy that is 1.2 consider so i know that vanadium will be at the highest value and manganese will be at the lowest value okay this is one point second point let us uh, look at the oxidation states okay so if i calculate the oxidation state of manganese in this one will be plus uh, 7 okay chromium over here will be plus 6 and vanadium over here will be plus 5 okay again if you look at the d electronic arrangement after assigning the oxidation state they are d0 systems okay so definitely no dd transitions are taking place d0 system okay so what did i say higher the oxidation state lower will be your uh, energy associated with the transition so highest oxidation state over here is manganese okay again manganese is plus 7 chromium is plus 6 and vanadium is plus 5 fine so again with with respect to oxidation state point also we know that manganese is going to be lowest in energy yeah so both the points i have uh, applied over here moving from left to right and oxidation state we are clear that manganese is going to have lowest oxidation state okay so, uh, one second sorry not lowest oxidation state manganese is going to have lowest energy okay sorry for that so if manganese is having lowest energy vanadium is having highest okay so the trend uh, which is correct over here is going to be option a option a is going to be correct answer right vanadium is highest in energy followed by chromium followed by manganese okay so your correct option is option a okay fine on the same principle i can also solve my next question okay so quickly let us do that question okay on the same principle fine we know that energy is equal to h nu the formula of energy is equal to h nu okay same formula i can also write h c by lambda because nu is equal to c by lambda okay so this is a formula which we as basic chemistry students we all have to know right e is equal to hc by lambda okay so we know that energy and lambda that is your wavelength are inversely proportional so higher the energy lower is going to be the wavelength okay so the correct order of wavelength in these complexes will be just the opposite of energy so if we said that vanadium is having highest energy associated with the transition okay in terms of wavelength vanadium uh, will be the lowest okay so manganese will be highest in terms of uh, your wavelength followed by chromium followed by manganese so option b over here will be the correct answer correct order of wavelength okay vanadium is not highest it is the lowest okay and these two options are not really valid for this particular question okay so our correct option will be manganese highest wavelength or you can also say like deepest color uh, followed by chromium followed by vanadium the logic is the same over here the trend was in terms of energy over here the trend is in terms of wavelength okay so let us go to the next question question number four the intense color of fe bpy3 2 plus is due to okay now this particular ligand over here is 2 comma 2 bipyridine okay 2 comma 2 bipyridine is uh, basically an aromatic uh, ligand okay and over here uh, the correct answer is a direct one actually it is your mlct metal to ligand charge transfer transitions i have already discussed this in my previous video okay so basically in order to have um, metal to ligand charge transfer transitions you require a metal should 
uh, which should have the electrons in order to donate the electrons okay and the ligand should be aromatic with low lying uh, pi star orbitals okay so this particular ligand 2 comma 2 pi pyridine usually uh, participates in metal to ligand that means it accepts electrons from the metal so the correct answer over here is c okay let us solve our last question over here okay this is also a direct one the color of KMnO4 is due to so I'm sure you all know that the color of KMnO4 is this deep purple or intense purple color okay so is it due to DD transitions uh, LMCT MLCT Sigma to pi star transitions okay so KMnO4 first of all oxidation state of manganese is plus 7 it's a D0 system so DD transitions is out of the picture okay since metal is present in its highest oxidation state uh, the metal is able to accept electrons from the ligand okay so the correct answer over here is b metal to uh, sorry ligand to metal okay from the oxide or from oxygen electrons will move to the metal okay so metal is present in highest oxidation state empty or vacant d orbitals hence it is able to accept uh, electrons okay so your correct answer over here will be lmct it cannot be metal to ligand because metal does not have electrons only what will it donate okay and it also cannot be sigma to uh, pi star okay pi star transition will be into the ligand again okay so correct answer over here will be your um, uh, ligand to metal charge transfer transitions okay so that's it thank you so much for watching and i hope this video was helpful to you all uh, and in case you all did like this video then please do give this video a thumbs up and um, subscribe to the channel for more